The new book reader is one of the coolest new functions on the Apple iPad. Hi, I'm Rokaz, your digital lifestyle expert, and I'll give you some tips on how to use the book reader and iBooks on the new Apple iPad. The materials we'll need to get started are an iPad, your finger, or an iPad stylist, downloading the iBooks app, and an account with iTunes. All right, now to get to our books, we simply hit this icon here of the book open. Clever, huh? And this goes to our iBooks or our iBook store. Now, the interesting thing here is, is that you're going to notice that the store up here is integrated in the same place where your library is. And that's a little bit different because videos and iPod buy their stuff through here. Apps are bought through here. So this was kind of a new, their new generation where the program has both the store, let's go to there, and the library built into one. So let's take a peek over here. Maybe we'll, uh, let's see here. See if there's anything new and exciting. Oh, a good tip too is to make sure that your account is up to date because basically you're one touch away from spending money. So if anybody else has access to it, especially children, right here, boom, boom, boom. In three steps, I could have spent over 30 bucks. So do make sure that it's up to date. And another good tip is to make sure that you're using a prepaid uh, Visa card that can be bought at almost any service station. Um, and that keeps your spending down so that there's no accidental uh, and accidental $500 things. But if it's attached directly to your um, home banking account, boy, getting the charges reversed is a tough road. Okay, so now we can choose one here. Let's just pick one at random. Uh, let's see here. Hungry Girl, one, two, three. So we're taking a peek over here and we're seeing that. All right, and I'm going to get the sample, which is also nice. So we don't have to pay for it here. Boom, it moves it right up. It's loaded, and now we're ready to read it. If you want to read a book, and we're going to go, let's see here, to David Allen's Making It All Work. It opens up, and there we go. All right. A great thing about here is this is how we turn our pages. Tip is to turn it from the center, top, or bottom. It's better when there's more. Uh, it's, a good, it's a great animation, especially when there's more words. I just love it. Look at this. <laughs> okay. Another good tip is you can navigate your pages down here. Once you're touching it, you get a little indicator. And again, doing it, and you can see here page 11, page 12, page 13, page 14, get my finger out of the way, and then we can jump to pages. If you know where your chapter is, you can hit this icon right up top and jump from chapter to chapter, which is going to be blank because it's reminding us to buy it. So we'll go back here to the chapter heading. Okay. You can also set bookmarks. All right. Now it says tap on ho by holding down a word and you can set a bookmark. So let me show you how to do that. Setting bookmarks going to right here into the phenomenon. Let's say we're done here at this concept. We're going to hold down the word here and boom. Instead of searching it, which is also an incredible thing. I don't know what that word is. You hit a button, you're on the internet and figuring out what it is, or the dictionary will tell you what it is, or we're setting a bookmark so we can remember that later. That is absolutely fantastic. And to get back, Another tip is to be able to find your way home, or one of my favorites is being able to change the font, both by size and to something that is a little bit more either your personality or easier on the eyes. And that one in big, you're ready to go. With the new iBook store and iPad, it couldn't be easier to buy, store, and read books. I'm Rokaz, your digital lifestyle expert, saying, Stream you later.